The Alabama legislature now faces a task of redrawing Alabama's U.S. congressional map. Lawmakers are expected to be called to a special session to redraw that map. Now that special session is necessary because the U.S. Supreme Court on June 8th ruled the state's current seven district congressional map violates the Federal Voting Rights Act. Now that act bars procedures that would deny or limit citizens voting power based on race. Now the parties were in federal court last week to sort out what happens next. And News 19 Chief Investigative Reporter Brian Lawson joins us now in the studio with Brian. Uh, how soon do we think we're going to be able to see some movement on this issue? Yeah, I think pretty quickly. It looks like, based on the most recent court filings from the state of Alabama, including the leaders of the state legislature's reapportionment committees, they expect to go quickly. They told the court they would like to see a special session called by the governor for July 17th through July 21st, and they're asking to be allowed to report to the court by July 24th on where things stand. Now, the U.S. Supreme Court ruling said the map adopted in November 2021 did not give sufficient weight to Alabama's black population, which census figures showed now makes up 27% of the state population and 26% of the state's voting population. The court said a second black majority or near majority congressional district should be drawn. There is disagreement about how the schedule should proceed. Uh, legislators plan to gather, as we said, from July 17th to the 21st, but the plaintiffs want the full map drawn by July 21st. They want to give the state until July 26th to produce any additional evidence to support the legislature's approved map, and plaintiffs want the court to draw a map with their input if the court finds the new map is inadequate to solve the current Voting Rights Act violations. Now, the court had set a July 20, or excuse me, July 31st trial date but the state said it's focusing on the legislature completing a map, then allowing the plaintiffs and the court to review it. Lots of work ahead. Jerry?